we have a lot more listeners now. Welcome to the show. I've been with a girl that's six foot four. She, Wouldn't do she that, picked yeah. me up and she was spinning around. And I was like, Wee! no, but like I'd carve in like a coop into his forehead or something. Guy, you don't has, think so? guy has kids, you know, like, and, and his kids are going to know who daddy is. So. Yeah. Would you rather suck one dick 10 times or 10 dicks one time? If you just got laid off with no warning or heads up whatsoever and were legally allowed to beat the shit out of the person that did that to you, not murder, but roughing them up and could use only one weapon, which weapon would you be taking with you to kick their ass? Go ahead and move it, baby. Move. You got them watching. Go ahead and do it, honey. <laughs> <laughs> The Jacob Cooperman Show. Can can they hear that? Episode, no, they can't. They can't. All right, something's no. funny is happening. Episode <laughs> episode 14, we're back in the studio. We got the Puerto Rican freak, Justin Smith, in with us. Justin Smith, our uh, our fact checker over our there. Our fact checker, our, our producer, producer, our Jamie, but ja- but better than Jamie. Better than Jamie. But better than no, Jamie. No shots at Jamie, of course. No shots. No, actually shots. Like, port him back? No. <laughs> like... Bop, 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 bop. You know what I'm saying? And then we got the Jewish jawline over here to my the right. The Jewish jawline, the South Boy, Gord. Your left. And over here, we got the... Uh, the Italian stallion, the, the Chochin Crocher, Donald... Sw- Donald Pump. Yeah, consensually. Donald Pump, uh, Swoley Poly. Uh, Nigel, you got into that horrific motorcycle accident, yeah, right? Yeah, with the handlebars. You you completely lost control of the uh, the handlebars. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're back, baby. We already used that joke, though. <laughs> no, but dude, that's part of the whole thing. All right. Uh, we we're, are, back. we're back in we're the studio. Back. Uh, it, it has been, what is it, two weeks? Yeah, it has been two weeks. We got, we, si- we got sick last weekend. We, we did get sick. <coughs> there you go. As if to illustrate my point there. And we also had a little bit of a, 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 a kibosh behind the scenes, which we won't get into. Um, What's a kibosh? Is that some A little bit of a, a mess up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah Miscommunication, yeah. but sure. we're back, baby. Are we, no, it, it's been? It's been, we one? haven't recorded since the weekend before last. Okay. So this is the Thursday before last Thursday. Okay. So either but, way, but the we, episode came out late. There were some technical difficulties, yeah. and then uh, I got sick, and yeah. Coop didn't want to push me. And then Coop got sick, and he wanted to film anyway. And I was like, Coop, we're not. We're just let's. We're let's, not going to film while you sound like a fucking. I think I think I'm just a workaholic. Yeah, I think you're a worker. I think that's actually your greatest personality trait and your biggest weakness as well. Why do you say biggest weakness? Because. Dude, one day, one day, like, dude, you, you've told me about it, how you just work so hard, so hard, then one day you just, like, decide to take a break, and it was, like, the best decision you ever made and stuff, and it's, like, I don't know. I think it's a good quality to have, but I think that's something you have to monitor. Well, yeah, I mean, I wish I was a workaholic. I don't, I don't want to look back and be, like, oh, wow, I wish I had done more to, to no, have fun. And, I promise and, you, know. you you're not going to think, oh, no. To do to have fun, I, yeah, I yeah, promise yeah. you, you're not gonna look back thinking, "Oh, I wish I did more." Well, for my they, I know I, everything I do. I, I think you have the same kind of philosophy where it's like work hard, play hard. Yeah, absolutely. You know, absolutely. So I adopt that policy, but without the play, yeah. <laughs> just, just work hard. No, but you got to play though. Yeah, you got to play a little bit for sure. You got to get some play. I'm you know? go. Oh, so <laughs> let's. I want to. I want to put you guys on to, to game. So I'm going out for the first time this Saturday. What do you mean? We might be going to the same place. I'm going to uh, this place. Uh, can I say the name of the place? Should I say it? You're going to go to Spectator Sports Pub? Of course. Of course. Dude, I think you're actually going to want to fucking kill yourself. <laughs> <tonight, so. laughs> what, what makes you think that? All right, so so some uh, some some recap for the viewers. Uh, people who I go to who go to Iona, some some people who yeah. go to Iona watch the show, um, they know what Specs is. It's called Spectator Sports Pub. Yep. Uh, we call it Specs. Basically, every school kind of has that one bar that every one of the school goes to almost every weekend or every weekend. 100%. Uh, ours is called Specs. Now it's this shit. And this it's, is, a, it's a breeding this ground is, for STDs uh, I mean, I and everything of the like. He's I, never been there, so I don't know why he's saying. I'd go. There. I'd go that far. Um, it's a shitty little bar. All these little college bars are pretty fucking shitty, though. But uh, it's a shitty little bar. It sucks. Um, it's it's just it's just so people. I mean, I don't want to throw them under the bus, but it's just <laughs> it's just that they take fake IDs, so everyone goes there. But, they do. Um, yeah. Oh, that makes sense. Uh, yeah, I've been going there since I was like eighteen. Do, <laughs> do most of those places? Do they have? The hookup with the local police, I doubt. I doubt that they're like paying them off. I re- like- that's what I remember. There was a bar. There was a bar in Fordham that I went to. Bar. There was a bar in Fordham that I went to sophomore year, and that's what they did. Well, I know the I know the cops do hang out there. Like when the kid they like on Saturday nights is for Iona kids, but every other day of the week it's like old people there. You know what I'm saying? I think like a lot of cops do come in and out of there. I think they probably know, but they like they don't. Care. They just turn the other way. Yeah, I mean, um, listen. And that, that's not the thing. But, like, also my friend's school that I, w- I go to visit all the time, you know who I'm talking about. It's, like, I went to his mm. school's version of Specs, and it was, like, 
just as shitty, if not worse. Yeah, but you said the people over there are, are, are much, but not to not to obviously slander any of the people that go to Iona because there's a great bunch. But the people that you don't know at wherever you went for yeah. this kid are better than the people you don't know here. Well, I just it's it's more of a suburban type school. And that's just, I guess that's just more of my vibe. So not, you know, I know just, I'm from the biggest city in the entire world, but. But the, he's like, you, you go there and you're just like, there's just more to do. Yeah. You no, know, well, in they, general. Well, the, it's also, Iona's definitely a bar school. Like, Spex is the bar of the school. But yeah. uh, over there, it's like they go there, but it's also like they ha- they go to house parties almost every single day. They go to Dages. Yeah, it's kind of the religion every, over there. Yeah, they party way harder than we do. It's just, but it's also just because everyone, like, you don't really live in the dorms over there. Like, my boy, when he got there, he moved into a house. So everyone has. Do they, do they not like have neighbors. dorms? They do have dorms, but it's like for freshmen. Like as soon as you become a sophomore, like you That's can. Interesting. You can probably live in a dorm your sophomore year, but no one does. You get some housemates and you live in the house. That's very interesting. And also, the houses are a little bit nicer over there than they are. Well, here. I, I mean, not to not to you know throw shots or anything, but I've seen some of the the frat houses around here, man, and it's like whoa, no bueno. yeah, no bueno. They're they're not. They're, listen, I'm not over here <laughs> sucking cock. Like they're pretty shitty houses there too, but they're definitely <laughs> they're definitely nicer. You know? I, I walked in. I walked into some of the the fraternity houses, and I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> no, like the opposite. Like, "Oh my god!" in a bad way. Like, yeah, no, but like, "Oh my god!" in a bad yeah. way. I just yeah. uh, that was the one I wanted to use. But yeah, "Oh my no. god!" in like a really bad way. Like, I walked in, and we, I, we actually, we went to the same place. I know that you know Which the place I'm talking it? about. The, uh, the sorority house. And there, it looked like it looked like I. I'm pretty sure I saw like a mouse trap in the corner. I was like, yeah. "What are we? What are we doing here?" Well, the thing is that just in the other the other school that I go party, and we'll, we'll get off the subject soon. But the other school that I go party, the, the houses are more set up for parties too. Like mm. you know, I'm saying these are more like houses. Houses they kind of suck. But the other one is like big living room, big basement type shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like okay, yeah, because yeah. some of the because some of the the, the they're, they're bigger the locally. party houses I've seen here. It's like there's there's spiral staircases. Yeah, there's like house. rooms every once in a while. It, this looks more like. A place you'd go in GTA Five when you have like a five star rating and you yeah. want to get the police down to a choke yeah, point. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm talking about. Yeah, no. So that's that's what it looks like to me. But it doesn't look like it's it's made it all for partying. Also, I'm not the main authority on partying, so I you know take my opinion, listeners, with a grain of salt. Also, we have a lot more listeners now. In yeah, general. no, absolutely. Shout well, out to well, you guys. Welcome man. to the show. Welcome to the show. You know, I know we, we joke around a lot, especially in the intro. But I'm Nigel. This is Coop over here. We have Justin. He, he's the one looking out for us. We Justin is a new addition to the squad, but he has been from uh, talking about a guy that his his rookie year he was dropping 38 ppg, <laughs> dude. He was like some Wilt Chamberlain numbers. I'm telling you, man. And he's just uh, even off the mic. Phenomenal he's just been, person, like bro. Uh, yeah, I'm a phenomenal person. I tell him every night that I love him. That's sort of really weird. <laughs> uh, no, but I, I I try to remind the kid that he you know Justin is as real as he as they get, and obviously we we don't have a mic this episode, but this is an oddity because for whatever reason we usually give him a mic. We usually give him a mic, but for whatever reason the equipment always wants to have something wrong with it. I'll get it figured out for next episode. We'll get him on here, but he is, I mean, he's the man. He's the man. Me and Coop have also known Justin since freshman year. Yes, yeah, we have known him for a long, long time. Um, What's up, Justin? How you doing? Yeah. Uh, I, w- I wish they could hear your voice. I know. Just, Dude, oh. he also has a really... You have a really good voice for, for um, just, r- like, radio or podcasting in general. Yeah. It's very smooth. Yeah, and, absolutely. And the thing I was telling Nigel, I don't know if I told you, Justin, is your timing for when to come in as a producer is impeccable. Yeah, absolutely. Like, you never You're force anything. That. Yeah. That's your your timing is... Your flow is impeccable. And and sometimes we do have a live audience. We did that once. That was really cool. That yes. was last episode. We might we might do. Do we want to do that more? I think we, I think we should play around with it. Uh, I don't I don't know because like obviously the studio has different rules. But we're yes. back up in at the Iona one. I mean we're we're the we're the Iona you know like we're well, the apparently Iona there's podcast. More, there's so. more podcasts being filmed there now. Yeah, but we're because for, of us. For, yeah, of course. <laughs> Dude, same as a pesto salad. Right? Come on, man. Look at what I'm saying. Do we walk in there and it's like and Joe is like. <laughs> I gotta, no, for I real. Get the he, audio like he, he knows what's going on. That's what I'm saying. So it's like we we're kind of we started this podcast our sophomore year of college. Now we're seniors. Yes. So uh, well, not this one. Not this. But well, we we have we've been the floor. podcasting. Yeah. Do we also want to give an update on spreading the floor? Or should we say that? We should, that for we should give episode? a little. I mean, if you want, I, w- I also wouldn't mind doing having its own like little mini video. That That's we what I'm saying. Upload. We were thinking about doing that, and we we should have more concrete plans. Yeah. I think this is like a. Like one of those scam things. I always put fuck it up to them. the mic. Put it up to the mic. Hello. Ready. What's up? I got a question for you. Oh, what's up? Oh, I'm so sorry. What's up? I got a question for 
What is your question? <laughs> I'm I'm live on the air. Well. Uh, <laughs> okay. All right. Much love, homie. I'll call. I'll call you as soon as we get off, like in an hour. All right. Peace out. So, what do we think that question was? Listen. So, all right. This will actually get us into the next segment. Um. So that's my friend. He has, he he has an Android, so I don't save his number. Uh, I just talk to him on like WhatsApp and stuff. Okay. But, um. I thought it was gonna be a scammer. I was just gonna fuck with him real quick. But uh, he's actually driving up from Florida Is right now. Is that the now. kid that you were telling me about? Yeah, my, okay, my off homie. The air. So right. he's uh this kid basically helped raise me. He's only a year older than me, but uh I've known him since I was fourteen years old. Greatest kid. We are part of this like trio friend group, uh like the wolf pack type shit. And it's just me, his name is uh Momar, I'll say it on there. And then we have our other friend Chris. I mean, obviously we all call each other Big by Chris. our we call each other by our last names, but I'm not gonna disclose yeah. their last names. Um so basically he's driving he lives in Florida, he moved there couple years ago. Okay. He's driving up from Florida right now. He's going to sleep with me in my dorm room tonight. That's the kid you wanted me to meet, correct? Yes. Okay. He's, so a, we'll he's meet an him. awesome kid. You're literally going to meet him and be like, oh, that's the best guy. Okay. Perfect. Um, and then tomorrow, we're getting up in the, early in the morning, and we're going to go to the wedding of our other friend. Okay. Uh, who's part of our Wolfpack. And you, 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 wanted, you wanted to talk about this real quick. Yeah. Because I understand. Uh, so these kids are really like my idols. I went to military school with them. Right. Uh, when you go to like a boarding school for as long as I did, you know, obviously my parents raised me, of course, but uh, you get a lot of other people raising you as well. And these kids really mean that much to me. Mm -hmm. They're on that level. And I just want to give a big shout out to Christopher and Natalie. They're getting married tomorrow. Oh, that's what you wanted to do. Yeah. I was like, at first I thought you wanted me to speak at the wedding. And then <laughs> yeah. it's like, and then you wanted to like make some sort of analogy yeah. and like tie it in. I was like, what the fuck I, is I go, this kid talking about? I go to Coop. I'm like, yo, you think, you think that we could just like shoot the shit? About the wedding. About the quick. wedding. Yeah, I was yeah, like, what yeah, fucking yeah, wedding yeah, are we yeah, talking yeah. about, bro? Yeah, so my friend is, my best friend from high school is getting married tomorrow. Actually, today is his birthday. Shout out to uh, Christopher for his birthday. Imagine that, getting married the day after your birthday. That's crazy. Some crazy bachelor party. So imagine, imagine getting married the day after your birthday and then having a kid the day after that. Yeah. Well, I don't know if it's all going to line up like that. But the, like, imagine you that. You might have to wait nine months imagine for that, that type of shit. So you have your birthday, your anniversary, and then your kid's birthday. Yeah, like what if? Um, but anyway, so he's getting married. Crazy. <laughs> he's getting married tomorrow. I'm really, really If happy that happens, I'll start believing in astrology. Yeah. And the, the girl, I, I, I said her name on air. I don't know if, if, he, if he's comfortable with that. I, I can always leave it out. You, she's you awesome. Him. Yeah, I'll consult with him. Uh, she's awesome. She's really cool. I talked to her. Uh, there's like no one I could imagine would be better for my boy than Aww. this girl. You know what I'm saying? And it's just Some like- felt stuff seeing man. seeing him grow and because uh, like that's the guy I've, I've looked up to since i was like 14 years old type shit mm -hmm. and like now seeing it like come full circle seeing him get married dude even though he's young he's he's very young to get married don't get don't get me wrong uh um, well listen we're, we're old but we're young at the same time. yeah but he's a couple years older than me dude like oh no i'm saying but you you not even but he's uh, happy listen, he's we're happy we're dude. 21 right yeah so absolutely we we've seen people grow up you know what i'm saying like yeah. along with us some people take different paths and no and absolutely absolutely i know a lot of kids from back home that are just like i see you doing the podcasting stuff and right. i see them doing their thing and we show the love uh we actually had a kid apply for another job today on the podcast really if anything you need let me know i'll help you out but of course obviously nice. we're growing the team also shout out to max that's that's oh, right. the camera today. To shout him out. without yeah. him we would not have a cameraman he's Jew gang camera. for sure Jew um gang. <laughs> <laughs> and and listen man he's he's a good dude man and and we're i think we surround ourselves with good with good people well, and i think that's a, the most important thing about this podcast and what's got it the farthest is is people holding accountability you know i'll i'll talk to justin Dude, I, I talked to, what, what was it? When did I put that into the group chat? I was like Saturday night. I was like, yeah. for, for those of you that may or may not be absolutely smashed right now, I would yeah. like to talk about yeah. the podcast at some point. Ju Justin texts back within a minute, minute 30, just goes, fuck yeah. I was like, bro, I love that. Energy. I remember that. Yeah. I love that energy. So it's, um, and you know, I'm not going to say whether or not that you guys actually were smashed. We'll keep that ambiguous for the listeners. I, I wouldn't be able to tell you. I don't remember. Uh <laughs> On There's Saturday, your answer right there. On Saturday night? Yeah. Oh, I was smashed. Oh, you were smashed. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> just because I was too. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, no, I think we got a good group of guys, man. And if you're just tuning into the show now, we do get wild. Yeah, all right. So, I'll go fuck myself talking about the wedding. But, yeah. I thought sure, you were done talking about the wedding. <laughs> yeah, no, we, all right, we do go I'm wild. I'm trying to keep this show moving, <laughs> man. I'm trying to keep. All right. My my bad. Um, no no, I'm yeah, not to say no. that the wedding isn't important. No yeah. But we've been, we've actually been going for we 14 do, minutes. We do we do surround ourselves with. I mean I I I'm a true believer in 
you are the you are a result. You're the product of the people you surround yourself with. I, I yeah. truly do believe that. And you know, that's if I'm just gonna wrap up the wedding theme real quick. Yeah. Th- those are my boys. Those are who I want to be like. That's why I surround myself with those kids. They're really great kids. Congrats. But um, yeah, absolutely. So um, I'll, I'll, I can clip this, and then you could like play it at the wedding if you want. Can you do it by tonight? I could. Yeah. Dude, what? All right. All right. We'll we'll talk we'll about see, it. We'll later. see about we'll that. Talk about later. That, anyways. Anyway, so super happy for him. Shout out to my boy. Um, Shout outs. So we we got some. Uh, we want to talk pop culture news. We could talk about. We have some new uh, some listener segments. Some listeners send in some I questions. Kinda, I kind of I kind of want to talk about the questions a little cool, bit. Quite, you want to pop the cherry? Should yeah. I pull up the emails? Yeah, pull okay. up the emails. All right. Here we go. I love I love it how like you guys email us. Yeah, like you could just it's cool. Th- you could DM us on Instagram or anything, but you know. No, I set up an email for that specific. Reason. Oh, did you? Yes, I did. Yeah, no, definitely take the. Traditional route. We also take. Uh, you could also send uh, send us letters on our PO. Oh, I'm box. getting a call. Should I take this on live on air? I mean, you might as well. Daddy O, you are live on the Jacob Cooperman show. Oh baby, is this <laughs> Big J? Is this the Big J? This uh, this is your son for sure. For show. Oh baby, I have some. I have some sports talk. I want to talk. We don't. We don't talk. But this, that's the other one, Dad. That's the other one. Oh, this is the big jail. I can't. I can't ask any sports. Uh, I mean, you. I mean, you could, but like, I don't. <laughs> we're, we're, t- we're talking a little bit of pop culture. We're just getting. We're getting warmed up here. We're getting pop settled culture. in. Pop culture. Oh, baby. You know the Fujis are getting together uh, for a big concert this week. That is Fuji. true. That is true. That's true. That is true. That is. True. That is true. We can confirm. Can you, can you yeah, hear? Not true. dad. Can you hear Nigel? Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear Nigel. What's okay. going on? How you doing? Yep. Yep. Good, Nigel. How you doing there? I'm doing yeah, great. Yeah, I figured I'd give you guys a buzz. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, lots of stuff, lots of stuff going on uh, in New York uh, this week. Weekend, how, how, weekend. How's how's the house now that mom's not around? Not not in that way, but the whole <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, and, uh, house, that house is very. The house is very tranquil. Very very tranquil. You know, she has a, she has a degree of how can I say it? Uh, a, a different level of uh, of calm. House. That's good. That's good. She's <laughs> on the trip just for everyone listening. That's, that's so <laughs> How's that? How's that? Gotta watch, gotta watch what I say. I did. I deserved. I deserved a yellow card for yeah. that. We just got the. Oh, by the way, also uh, new segment for the show. Yellow card. <laughs> uh, but I'm. I'm, I'm yeah, glad to hear well, everything. Well, well, you, you, you know, you know the uh, the old <laughs> saying. Uh, you know, Hel- Helen and Troy was the face that launched a thousand ships. You know that. What? And you know, oh, is, is the, is, yeah, you didn't know that. That's come from uh, from uh, the uh, the telling of the historical times of uh, Greece and Troy. You know, absolutely. And uh, you've always got the face that uh, we'll, we'll launch a thousand baseball bats in my direction. But that's, we love we love my mom. Shout out to Mama Coop. <laughs> Um, uh, we 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 adore her. If we didn't adore her anymore, I don't know what would happen. To that's me. what I'm saying. But uh, no. Uh, <laughs> all right, listen, Dad. Let me uh, let me let me get back to the show here. I'll uh, I'll call you later. Okay. Yeah. Sounds sounds like a deal. Just want to check. There. Everything's okay. Yeah. Uh, everything's good. The, uh, big eye. The big eye in New Rochelle. Of course. Absolutely. Always the big Always. eye for everything. Uh, yes. Yes. The big eye in New Rochelle. So okay. Yep. Catch you on the flip side. All right, Dad. All right. I'll t- I'll call you later. Love you. Be safe. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Bye. Bye. Wow, Papa the first the first yellow card <laughs> of the show, that was out of pocket. I know that you didn't mean it the way you thought. Okay, so just for some context, his dad's yapping, and, and Coop just goes, "So how's the house now that mom left?" And then I just go, "Holy shit!" Like that was crazy. That for was anyone not- that's that's popping in on us now, yeah. anyone anyone that's watching this or listening to this, and someone else just came into the room out of yeah. nowhere, that you know, that was the most unintentionally flagrant moment I think on this yeah. podcast. Well, you deserve that for sure. That was, so what? Can't be yeah, something. if I get another one, then I have to do something stupid on the next podcast, right? Well, I think we're we're still coming up for the rules for that. I think that we should just make a compilation. Oh, we'll oh, talk about it. Oh my god, we'll that was funny. That was great. Okay. Uh, so as I was saying before, your dad's my father, a sweetheart. He's my dad loved my dad. Yeah, he's, he's not. You know, he he's just he likes to he likes to goof around. For yeah, a no, bit, for absolutely. Sure. He's yeah. a sweetheart. Well, though, we huh? both took calls. Yeah, we did. We did. This is a call heavy podcast. We might call some other people later. Dude, Who this knows? is this. I think this episode already is so fucking ch- like choppable. Yeah, no, this is no. I was I was gonna say. Yeah, that. no. Literally. Anyways, pop culture news. We got a bunch of stuff we can get into. Kim Jong Un. Emails. Lost some weight, but we want to get to the emails first. That's my <laughs> ADD right there. Okay, who do we want to film? We, we, who do we, which, throw, which question throw, do we want to feel first? Throw the first one, the first one that you hit us with. <laughs> in the okay, group in the group chat. chat. Okay. 
Uh, because they're they're different subjects. One is definitely more flagrant than the other. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I feel like we got. I think talk whoever about reads it might just have to get a yellow card for reading it. The second one. But we'll we'll, we'll, we'll cross nah, that I'm bridge sure. when we get to it. <laughs> we will cross that bridge when we get to it. Okay. I'll probably get a yellow card for answering these it. Are, these are these <laughs> are get that. Get, you listen. You know what? We'll we'll, we'll tally it up. All right, we'll I'll keep some up, sort of yeah. a s- screen thing going. Uh, <laughs> Craziness, okay. Man. All right. So Absolutely this is obviously we're going to read these. They're anonymous. We're not going to say the name of the person. We had two emails this week, which I think is dope. Right. Ready? So this question from the listener is, <clears throat> if you just got laid off with no warning or heads up whatsoever and were legally allowed to beat the shit out of the person that did that to you, not murder, but roughing them up, and could use only one weapon, which weapon would you be taking with you to kick their ass? Enjoy the craziness of this question with love. In other words, if you got fired, what would you use to beat the shit out of your boss? Yeah, but like laid off unexpectedly. I, I, can I go first? Absolutely. Do you have a, I have a question before we get into it. Mm. Do you have a boss that you hate? Yeah. Okay. I have a boss that I hated. Okay. Um, I, I mean, should would I get you, into the story? Are you, you going to imagine that guy when you do it? That's not a guy. All right, first of all. <laughs> Is that, yeah. You know what? I'll give it to myself there. <laughs> it's a woman. It's a woman for sure. So before, I'll just preemptively give myself another yellow right there. All right, go ahead. But it wouldn't be that boss. I would not be imagining that boss. Okay, okay. Actually, you know what? Because you can't beat women, right? Yeah. yeah so no. we're sending we're send that yellow card. <laughs> <laughs> it was just, it was this old dog shelter I used to work we at. Don't, we, don't, we don't approve women beating on the Jacob Absolutely not. Yeah, so Absolutely can't not. Do that. Nor yeah. do we approve of molesters. Uh, yeah, that, we've I pissed mean, a lot of people off. That's not something else I want to get yeah. into. We got to get into a commenter that commented. There, there's a lot of there's a lot of like molester supporters that watch our show for some reason. insane anyway, amount. We're getting on topic. Go ahead. So I think I get, I got to roll with the with the brass knuckles, wow. just so I could get in real nice, close and personal. Max actually trains boxing and and you do a little bit of MMA, right? A little bit. Jiu-jitsu, there Jiu-jitsu. you go. So he knows about, I mean, like, so he knows when up. your hands are active and you can get in close with someone, it's a good feeling when you rough them up. Yeah. And I think I think a bat would be a little bit less personal than I'd like. If I got laid off with no hesitation, with no prior knowledge of it happening, no, you know, advancement or, or, or what's it called, warning, uh, I'd want to grab brass knuckles and just... You know, not again, not to death, as this, as this listener says, but just you know, give them a nice little... Uh, Nice little beating. Yeah. Maybe maybe curbs, you know, maybe like Goodfellas style, you know what I'm saying? Just like, or like oh, any yeah, other just, Italian crime okay, movie. Okay, like, they hit him with the butt of a gun. Yeah, yeah, and bop, you just be like, bop. or you like, you grab him, and you're like, mm, come here, come here, let me talk to you. Let me talk, <laughs> <laughs> let me talk to you. Right. I view you as a brother. Right. Yeah, I love you. I love you. you and then you just hit him with heart, a, yeah, yeah, you broke my heart. Yeah. And then you hit him with a little gut shot, and you just, oh, and he falls to the ground, and that's when you and, like, all of your friends just start, yeah. you know what I'm saying, kicking him out. But I think that's what I'd want to do is brass knuckles and, you know, leave some sort of a permanent branding. Okay. So, you know, like, so maybe, like, a, 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 a coupe, right? Like, you get a brand, and you just, right, right. coupe, right on the back. Okay, that's OD, but for sure, for sure. That's what I would do. Um, and I'm psychotic. That is that Go is, ahead, that's friend. very violent. I don't know, I know if I'm gonna. I mean, have you ever seen the movie Inglorious Bastards? Of course, by Quentin Tarantino. The big Jew scene. It's a great scene. Um, Not what you're going for. I'm thinking. No, I mean the the movie is kind of like Jewish revenge type of movie, and that's why I like it. And that's all. Oh, yeah, also, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. also. I I think Steven Spielberg is another director that gets that perfectly, like the whole revenge thing. Um, especially in like Indiana Jones, you know, we they go oh, fucking yeah. kill Hitler and shit, but um. Basically, I, I don't know if you've seen that movie, but I think it's just so sick when the guy comes out with the bat. That is the, that's the big yeah, Jew scene. The big yeah. Jew scene. And yeah. He's like, you get that for killing Jews. Um, and he's like, bravery. Yeah, oh, I know. Bro. But the, I mean, the Nazi stands his ground though. Like he's he's not he's not giving well, any room. That that's the weird thing about that scene is you you almost have respect respect for, the for Nazi. both. Yeah. Right. But it's 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 like why am I feeling this way? But that's the power of Tarantino. Yeah, absolutely. But I digress. Yo, Go ahead. You said that per- more perfectly than I ever could have. Oh, uh, that that's that's great. I love that. Um, but yeah, I just think there's something so iconic about the coming out with the. So I guess my answer to the question: come out with the wife beater on, uh, <laughs> the, the, the guinea tea. I, I don't know. I don't like what people. Yeah, there you go. A Jesus piece. Max is wearing one. Um, people. I don't know. People call it guinea teas. I'm more of a wife beater. I call. I, I'm not a wife beater, but I, I, I call it a wife beater just because that's what I've always called it. But right. uh, yeah, you come out. You know what I'm talking about with the yeah the, the Guido yeah, yeah. shit. Uh, do you, you just, come out like the Sopranos? The, the the Louisville Slugger, yeah, absolutely. What did you like the extruded jaw? Just dude, I come, I come. That's not that's Godfather. That's Godfather. But I come go. out of my room every morning like just, the Godfather. Can you just, can you do it? Come into my house. 
Beast. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, you come out with you come out with the Louisville Slugger around your back. You know what I'm saying? And you're just like dragging along the ground. Then you know this motherfucker, <laughs> this motherfucker getting ready, and then yeah. pop. And then, you, you popped know, him in the head, but you wouldn't be killing him, so you wouldn't have the follow up. Would you say to him beforehand? I think in that scene he did die with the first one. I guess I wouldn't. No, but he, then he goes. Ham. Well, we we could also take it like mob movie, like just take out his kneecaps type thing. <laughs> um, you know, what I'm saying let him get up, let him get up. You can fire, or at the end of Inglorious Bastards, they <coughs> they let the guy live, right? So they carve a, a Nazi symbol into his forehead. That's what I'm saying. You you carve. I don't know if I'd in. carve a Nazi symbol to anything ever. But no, but like I'd carve in like a coop into his forehead or something. Yeah, but that's just so violent. Like I don't know if I could do that to someone. Like guy, you don't think guy, so? guy has kids, you know, like and and his kids are gonna know who Daddy is. No? <laughs> <laughs> um yeah no but that that is a great question i i don't have i don't have any bosses that i hated that much i don't have any bosses that i really hated hate i don't really hate people you know what i'm saying like i've i've had beef with people before you never had a boss where you were like no i've had annoying bosses don't get me but wrong i've never it, had a boss where i want to like physically attack them or anything no like that. absolutely not well the thing is i've had bosses and i've also had like leadership right you know what i'm saying like if I, i've had some people in charge of me that are actually just like leading the charge and i've also had some that s- sat back but i don't hate either one of them right um i obviously you, you you do better work and you're you have a better work environment when you have a leader instead of a boss oh for sure um but even the ones that have sat behind the desk type type energy is like it's all right like i don't hate you you're annoying as fuck but you're doing your job the same as that you know what i think of whenever i ever have whenever i have any type of stress depression anxiety and it's something that i would i would uh anyone listening I would recommend is, is just even when I'm angry at someone like right my boss does something stupid or annoying I just go I, I, t- I say to myself hey listen man we're, we're grains of sand we're apes floating around in a rock in space yeah absolutely. and that usually does wonders for my anxiety my stress my anger and I just I mellow out but again yeah I've never had to use that on a boss because I've never no, wanted yeah. to take out a pair of brass you never, went, you never went ape on a boss you never oh. went on ape fl- on a Grain of sand. Dude, what if what if it was like what if it was <laughs> like that? Boss. What if what if everyone that gets laid off? So what if there's like a mass layoff and then everyone jumps them and it's like that Vice Land scene was like fight back. Do you know what well, I'm talking about? You, but that was kind of like the, the the Great Recession, dude. That's kind of what had. That's why the, the organized crime got so popular and everything, dude. <laughs> People gotta eat. Yeah, absolutely. People gotta eat. Do yeah. we wanna do we wanna get into the next email or do we uh, do we do we you, do we say it? Yeah. Do you want me to read it? I mean. Whatever you just tell me. What I'll to read do. it. Uh, <laughs> it I know. All right, no, we're back. Sorry about that, guys. Had to change out the camera. Uh, obviously, our very talented cameraman Max. Uh, the, the last little bit was a yeah, that was, it was intense. Flagrant. Yeah, that bro. We we this might be. Is this our fl- most flagrant episode ever? No, uh, not now after you edit it, hopefully. But no, but like um, just as of recording, I'm not sure. Um, we're uh, if we ever get like if we ever like podcasting, like we get good big at doing when? it, and we we start when we do, uh, we'll start like a Patreon, and like that'll be that'll like, that'll the make first it clip the yeah. most flagrant. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. Anyways, okay, getting off these emails, get, yeah. getting off talking Moving about. On. So I said dad's once dicks. a year. You said every day. No, I, I've actually, but you've you've kind of swayed me a little bit. I think. yeah, you yes. think? Yeah, but I think you don't really get blackout drunk though. Yeah, but I, it, uh, dude, we're, 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 again, we're talking once a once year. a year. You know that's like that's like a that's like, like a dentist appointment. <laughs> you know, like if everyone has a bad day once a year. Maybe it's either. during the dentist appointment. Maybe like the clamps are open and my dad just comes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, to completion. That's that's <laughs> that's wild. That's wild. <laughs> because it's like you're already there, so it's kind of yeah. just you know. Um, trading sexual favors for uh, right for for uh, it wouldn't even be trading it would just be can like I, can I hit you with another yeah, crazy go, go flavor follow one up, follow up. Um, this is one we used to actually the kid who called me earlier one time we hit him with this question uh, and he got so upset that he hung up and didn't talk to us for the rest of the night but uh, would you rather suck one dick ten times or ten dicks one time to completion. It doesn't have to be in the same night. One dick ten times. Or ten dick one ten dicks one time. One, I have, one I know my times. answer because I've thought about because one we, dick ten times. Because then you the get you answer. get to know the dick. That's what, dude. That's what I was saying. Oh my god. 
Dude, if my literally if the kids that, that that like I talked about that heard you say that, they'd be like, "Oh, dude, Nigel told him his answer before." Like, no, dude, that's no, no, literally because no, no. dude, we, I feel we didn't like, converse about this. Because dude, if we if you suck the same dick ten times, eventually, you, like by the third time, you know what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? You're like, nice with a, it. That's a two minute. You, you know, like uh, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So you you, you actually, it's like. It's like credit almost, like yeah. how credit builds. Like you right. could just faster and faster and faster and faster. Yeah. Pretty soon you're just, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> everyone, just, everyone just listening, the, the throat goat. Everyone listening to this is right now is like, relax. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> literally. Relax, yeah. bro. Yeah, don't, don't, maybe we shouldn't talk about this the whole podcast. Yeah, okay. But, uh, I want, think that is an interesting question. I wanted to hear your opinion on it. So we're a little bit, we're a little bit short on time, but we got some stuff we could talk about. Go ahead. Uh, we What's got, the most interesting thing? Because it's slow news week. What's the most interesting thing that happened in your opinion? Well, it's stupid, but we could talk about Conor McGregor beefing MGK at the... Yeah, tell me about that. I actually don't know much about so, that. So... It's uh, when I've heard like con from conflicting camps, it's that Connor wanted a picture with MGK and or uh, I forget who he's dating at the moment. MGK. Uh, oh, uh, what's her face from uh, Transformers? Trans uh, Megan Fox. Megan Fox. Megan thank Fox, you, Justin. Thank See, you. if Justin had a mic, then he'd be he's just elite. He just knows. He's he's honest. He dude. looked up that he looked that up like five minutes before we even started talking uh, about. It. That's how good he is. Don't get Anyways. me started about Justin. <laughs> So apparently Connor wanted a picture with either of those two people. Uh, and, and obviously MGK said no. And that got Why McGregor mad. I'm not, it's the details around the situation have been very ambiguous. Um, and that angered McGregor. McGregor, I think, shoved him, or MGK shoved McGregor. There's a lot of I'm sure MGK obscurity. didn't shove McGregor. I don't know. MGK's a little bit of a, a wild boy. I mean, he has a song that's called Wild Boy. I know, I know. You I know, got, so I got the reference. He's, no, I, I, that wasn't even me. I just like saying Wild Boy. But, dude, I would you walk up to McGregor and shove him? N no, but, like, you? MGK's... Would you? I mean, all right, he has a broken foot, so it's different now, but I'm talking like, dude, no way. You could, like, kick him in the ankle and just see what happens. Anyways, and also, MGK is, like, six foot five. Right. He's he's uh, he's a pretty tall dude, but also, he, you know, there's a certain, like, Nigel and I, we're very, uh, I'll speak for myself. I don't want to speak for you, Nigel. We're very, I'm, I'm very confident and secure in myself, but I also know my ability, and I know that Conor McGregor could beat the, the living shit out of me. There are some yeah. guys like MGK that have so much confidence that I think he legitimately thinks that he could beat Conor McGregor in a fight. I, I genuinely believe that he thinks that. Wasn't he in Bird Box? He was. Yes. Yeah, I actually kind of liked him in Bird Box. I think he played a good It was character. random, but he definitely played a good character. I think he did a good job. I think, you know, I mean, it wasn't a very serious movie. But and I, I don't like all of his music, but it's not no, terrible. I definitely don't hate his music. I mean, I didn't listen to his new, like, when he was in <laughs> dress. I didn't listen to his dress stuff. His Point dress is, phase. McGregor's camp came out. It's and like it, punk rock. Yeah, thing, yeah. It's like a rap kind of mixture, right? I think Kid Cudi did something similar, but I don't listen to that either. Point is. McGregor's camp, they released something as well, uh, saying that MGK started the physical altercation. I mean, it's different from the different publications you hear, obviously. Like, yeah. each PR rep is going to put out a different story. Uh, but the point is, McGregor had another outburst like he always does. Right, you like course. McGregor. I'm, I'm I kind of like him. I kind of. Like I know you kind of like him. I don't know anything about just... I'm, I'm kind of out on McGregor. Bear in mind, I don't know anything about the sport. Well, that's probably yeah, why you, that's you why like I him. That's why I like him, yeah. You, and maybe you don't know enough about him, so that's why you like that's him That's probably so true as well. I, and, you know, it's it's one thing... I think we talked about this on a past podcast, but it's one thing when you're cashing checks that you you, writ, you wrote with your mouth, but when you're not cashing them anymore and you're fighting yeah. guys at the VMAs yeah. and being an asshole and doing all that stuff and, and fighting old people because they don't want to drink your, uh, your vodka, I mean, that's just... I right. Don't know. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, you know what? The entire situation seemed weird because someone caught up with him a few minutes later on the carpet, and they asked him what happened. He was like, "Oh, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm just a big fan, and they come to the fight, so I don't know. We uh, that that was. I yeah, mean, that's how he sounds. That too. sounds like it's not. How, it's not how he sounds, <laughs> but that's. I'm not paraphrasing. That's legitimately what he said. Yeah. Well, it's uh, a very odd situation. Well, I mean, you think about it like uh, Conor McGregor has got his ankle snapped. Um, yeah, MGK also got his ankle snapped by Eminem a couple years ago. He got murdered. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a uh, that was a fight scene. But uh, no, I mean, like, dude, like at, at the end of the day, it's like a, now we got like rappers and boxers beefing with each other. Like, do you think? I, I think that's in part in part due to the fact that there's this like celebrity boxing crossover yeah, now. I agree. Where it's kind of it's not even maybe not even directly uh, a result of that, but just because. Of, that stuff exists. You no, understand what I'm saying? I think McGregor definitely feels more inclined to be a celebrity more than a boxer at this point in his career. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Uh, and maybe maybe McGregor knows well, that he's kind of well, on the downtick. 
Yeah, I, oh, absolutely. I think Machine Gun Kelly probably knows that too. Yeah. But um, what was the event where this happened at? VMAs. Justin, can you look that up? So the VMAs is the Music Video Awards. That's yeah, the VMAs. Yeah. What is McGregor doing there anyway, though? Like they just they they do that. I know sometimes. they go they go they, to they, watch it, but Charlie D'Amelio, Dixie D'Amelio were all there. I mean, they're not really. I guess they are. They do put out no, music. No, Charlie. But, Charlie, which one's the older one? Dixie. Dixie. Dixie puts out music. And Charlie put out a little music. But Charlie, too. I mean, but they're, they're but mostly still, known for I mean, TikTok. They're obviously not going to win, but you know what I'm saying, though. But it's just like. But I know what you mean, but I, I think these, like, these big, because it is festivals, not festival season. It is award show season at the moment, if I'm not mistaken. Um, they'll they'll bring in celebrities yeah. to just, you know. I mean, because it's, it's, think about it. It's like with anything, dude. Yeah, but dude, like. When you get, like, Comic-Con and you get some, some celebrity to speak at a guest panel or something like that, even if they're not on one of the shows that's being featured. I mean, people do that. Clout yeah, is currency. Dude, that's like Patrick Ewing going to uh, the Grammys and getting into a beef with fucking, who was a 90s, rap, uh, 90s rapper? I don't know, dude. I know, it's it's weird. M&M, I mean, them. You, you have know, to like, at the same. No, I understand what you're saying, but at the same time, dude, you, you gotta. You, you know, McGregor shows up. Well, this is what I suspect happened. McGregor shows up. He gets paid a bag, takes some pictures, talks about how fun it was to be at the VMAs, then dips. Right. McGregor was probably there for a bag. Tried to, to take a picture because Megan and, and then you know MGK always go to the fights. MGK MGK says no. Why does he say no? Do do we know that? No. Well, I mean, I think there is a lot of McGregor hate that might have had something to do but with it. But there's also a history with MGK saying no to pictures. Oh, is there? Yeah, oh, yeah, he so doesn't like taking pictures. Well, I'd rather get a picture with Megan Fox anyway. I think MGK yeah. is kind of ugly. No, I don't think he's ugly. I mean, look, he's I will say there's guy. that one sex scene in Bird Box. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all right, we're, we're just going to move oh, on. Oh, shit. <laughs> Here we go again. Back to the sex talk. Um, uh, no, I... <laughs> yeah, dude. Mine's in the gutter. Mine is um, in the gutter. I, I, yeah, dude. Nah, I, he's not the best looking guy in the world. I, I think I think he's better looking than Eminem. That was like his main diss towards if, Eminem. Uh, yeah. I, I think yeah. if I think if anything, it's become a lot more normalized now. Especially if you want to even go back to talking about celebrity boxing, it's more normalized now to do things for clout more than anything else. Oh, even no, if it doesn't make sense for someone to be fighting someone else, for someone to be at a certain event, people will go because the clout. You know, yeah, that's the, the great equalizer nowadays is clout. Yeah. And even I have had some times where it's like someone should be, someone says, oh, you should do this on the podcast for this reason, or you should like, no, I'm not talking about you, by the way, uh, but just people in general that like listen to the show yeah. say, oh, you should tag this person and maybe they'll respond and you could like get into a beef with them. It's like, well, why the fuck yeah, would I ever well, do that? Why would I start a beef? And, and, and you see like how it permeates people's, I wouldn't even be surprised if this fight was set up because I was watching earlier the whole setup and the and the whole backdrop from the situation and the whole you know uh, what's the word I'm looking for the um, the aftermath right. of of the whole event it it didn't make any sense and it still doesn't make any sense to me it is the most pertinent uh, bit of news that we had coming into this week which is why I kind of wanted to talk about it but yeah yeah if we had better bigger stuff to you know bigger and better fish to fry I wouldn't have talked about it absolutely I agree well I mean I mean the, <clears throat> the most competing story with MGK was. Uh, Kim Jong Un's body, body, body transformation. transformation. By the way, looking slim, looking good, dude. Dude, he he put himself on looking good. He put himself on the diet of whatever he has the 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 people residents of, of his country. Korea. Yeah, yeah. So like fucking oranges. And shit. I just I just love how the people of his country must be sitting there like, am I a joke to you? Like you can see their yeah, ribs. Yeah. <laughs> He's yeah. like, I can I can serve to lose a few pounds, yeah. and they're like, oh, you can. Yeah, no. I can serve. Do you want to give some of that food to me that you're not eating? Well, the thing is, like, I didn't know he ate it all because he doesn't have an asshole, right? What? Am I am I wrong? No, yeah, I'm getting the nod of approval. Really? really? He doesn't have an asshole. I'm not uh, like saying you're he, wrong. I he just convinced didn't know that. his people that he doesn't have an asshole because he's a god and gods don't shit. That's what he convinced yeah, them of. Absolutely. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? All right. That's some s- next level. No, but I've, I've heard that before. Um, it was also in, I think, what was the the. No, it wasn't the dictator. It was, well, the, interview. the interview. The interview. That was a good movie. Because they were they movie. were like, "Do you have an asshole?" And he was like. <sighs> You know, like, it was, <laughs> like, it was like one of the jokes. Well, I, it's, it's, it's certainly interesting. It is. Did it you is, not know that? No, I didn't know that. Dude, he's convinced his people of so much shit. Well, I, yeah, I mean, at that point, it's like. No, but about him. I, yeah, like, I, I, I could see that. goes on. I, I don't he, remember. You know, he banned skinny jeans? Is that true? Yeah. Which, it, which like never s- made sense to me because if anyone has been listening to the show long enough, I already talked about this. It doesn't make sense to ban skinny jeans because everyone is so skinny anyways. I feel like just having skinny jeans would help with the facade of, of people <laughs> eating. So it didn't make a lot of sense to me, but 
Yeah. You get it how you can get it. I get. He he said that it, it reminded him of like Western culture and values and commercialism and all that stuff. He also banned mullets. You know what, dude? I I don't. I mean, obviously he's a fucking dictator. He's a horrible guy. But like, dude, I I kind of understand like why some countries would not want a lot of Western culture in. You know, what I'm saying like Hollywood and all that stuff because while it brings a lot of good, it also brings a lot of bad. And I, I get that they have certain traditions and you know values over there, but it's like. Dude, it, you know you're a fucking dictator, man. Like, I, I think America is great, but in the same way, hot take I think sometimes <laughs> some of the, some of, like commercialism, think about that. Commercialism kind of sucks, right? Where like everyone's competing with each other to have capitalism. the best thing. Capitalism. But there's me. good things about that the, the, too. Though. No, there's good things about yeah. it. But that's why I put the, the hot take alert right. thing on is y- there's definitely some downsides. There's, where everyone's there's good competing. and bad with everything. I mean, though. you talk to any girls, any guys nowadays, it's like, oh, look what he's wearing, look what she's wearing. Yeah. The entire thing, the Met Gala. Oh I mean, Justin and I God, were talking dude. about that the other day. They're wearing, like, Russell Westbrook was, like, wearing a dress. It's, like, this weird competition to, like, outdress each other and show up. And, and bro, I, I'm never going to understand why stuff like that exists. Uh, yeah. Well, I know to get into the Illuminati, you have to embarrass yourself. And one of the things you can do to embarrass yourself is to wear a dress. Or, like, public humiliation. You can go live on air and say, like, some crazy shit. Because um, that's how they keep you tied down, right? Well, think about Young Thug. He had that album cover where he was wearing a dress. People think that's because he had, he was doing his self-humiliation. Russell Westbrook, same thing. Um, you think Russ is in the Illuminati? I'm thinking that if you're wearing a dress outside, I can't think of a better reason. Mm. <laughs> uh, anyways, without getting too far into conspiracy theories. Um, no, but I, I 100%... I 100% agree with you. I think that one of the things I love most about living in New York City is that the bagels are so good. And yes. I, I'm a big bagel guy. Huge, huge bagel guy. Bagels are bagels um, Especially are when I'm hungover. But the, the great thing about it is that because the competition is so stiff, uh, that's why the bagels are so good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you True. can't under... And then you go to other places like smaller towns, the bagels aren't that good. You know what I'm saying? Just because the competition isn't Because there's high. a bagel store every, like, three blocks. Yeah. In the you city, there's saying? a bagel store every three blocks. In a small town, there's like one One per or town. two per town. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So the competition, you're not worried. About it. If someone wants a bagel, they're going to go to you no matter what. So I actually, like, across the street from my house and down the road is some of the best bagels I've ever you, had. What's the place you took me to? Bagel Boss. That was Bagel Boss. Shout out Bagel Boss. And shout out to the guy that was part of that Bagel Boss video that got lifted off of his feet because he was, like, five foot two. Shout talking? out to him. What are you talking about? We already talked about this on the podcast, too. You, you don't know what I'm talking about. I forgot. Uh, Can I play the video? Yeah, play the video. Okay, all right. Keep them, keep them interested. Keep the listeners interested. Uh, awkward transition time. Coop's looking something up. No, but but, but for real, um, there's like three bagel places within like a half mile of my house. Probably even less than that. And I, w- I just walk, and it's just like, dude, I get the sickest bagels ever. And that's only because... Sorry, go ahead. That's only because there's so much competition. And that, like, while there are bad parts of, like, commercialism and all that, I think that there are some, there is some good that comes out of it. Oh, for sure. For sure, for sure. Okay, let me see. All right, hook it up. Well, that, that's that's the ebbs and flows of life, uh, I think. Oh. Okay, hold wait, on a second. Play it. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. That's the ebbs and flows of life. Ready? The great, why is it okay for women to say, oh, you're five feet on dating sites? You should be dead. That's okay? Who said that to you here? Nobody. Women in general have said it on dating sites. You think I'm making that shit up? Yeah. Everywhere I go, I get the same fucking smirk with the biting lip. Because he's short. Shut yeah. your mouth. Dude, so he's, <laughs> if you, if you have to, if you're a man and you have to reach up to touch the top of the glass on a bagel display... You're down bad. No, but, dude, I mean, I don't know if I consider it down bad, though, because I have short friends, dude. It's like... No, but it's like if... And, and everyone's telling this guy to kill himself because he's short. I mean, that's got to be horrible. What do you mean? Who's telling him to kill himself? They, women on dating now, sites? you're not God or my father or my boss. It goes back to what we were talking about earlier. Yeah. <laughs> dude, you want to step outside? You want to uh, step no, outside? Don't say that. Huh? Yeah, I'm not standing. Yeah. No, he was... You shut up, too. Go ahead and attack me, Oh, my God. I just wanted bagels. He's got fucked up. I recorded the whole thing. Absolutely. Oh, and a guy three times my size. Yeah, but you were th- he was threatening them. Yeah, he was threatening them. Right, turn the video off. Um, That's like a Joker storyline. Yeah, that is. That's like that guy's going to have his villain arc pretty soon. He's Dr. Doom. Um, <laughs> Dr. Doom. He's a no, but I feel I feel for that though. Like, but he was threatening people. Like, he shouldn't have been doing that. Uh, but like, 
I don't know. I, I tend to I tend to fall on the side of. of uh, I think baby girls are man. a little bit unfair when it comes to for that. Sure. I mean, there are obviously crazy standards for women. Like we have our standards for women are, are pretty intense all, most of the time. No, but also um, like if I I don't understand why we can't have certain preferences, but then like a girl can go on TikTok. And no, be we like, can though. If you're if you're below, well, you can. But it's it's generally frowned upon. But then if you go on TikTok and a girl's like, if you're below like six foot, then don't talk to me. Yeah, but fuck them. I I think that the rule should be you got to be taller than the girl. You don't you don't have, you shouldn't yeah. have to be six foot just taller. Just so taller. Girl. I, I you agree. Know what I'm saying? And people have preferences though. Like I think my my aunt is taller than my uncle, and he's not a short guy by any means. He's just shorter. My my, my I, aunt's I, a little listen, bigger. Listen, I'm I'm not proud enough, or I'm proud enough to admit that I've I I don't mind the the height difference. I I mind. I wouldn't want to. I've been with a girl that's six foot four. That's wild. Yeah. Uh, Climb the tree. I, I probably wouldn't she, do she that. She picked yeah. me up and she was spinning around. And I was like, wee. I like, I like my girls a little shorter than me. I like, I like being the man, you know? The, yeah. Well, no, that's like, <laughs> kind of the overarching, like, I, that's yeah. something I've noticed about you for sure is you like yeah. that, that prototypical, you know, manly. Well, because toxic masculinity is one of the worst things, but healthy masculinity is one of the best things. You want to be able to be like, same shut thing up, with, bitch! Yeah, exactly, exactly. I want to be like that. Uh, same thing with feminism. Healthy, yep. healthy feminism is one of the greatest things, and toxic feminism is also one of the worst things. Everything in moderation. Absolutely. Everything in moderation, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, I mean, with, with everything, man. With, with, with that being said. Yeah. Uh, in, in, in totality, you know, let's let the people in, in Korea eat. That's one. Okay. Uh, they might have got a little bit of a buff on their food supply. Just because he wasn't he eating at all? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, he went yeah. on the nutri- nutri- but if I whatever. But if I know my boy Kim Jong-un, he, he tossed yeah, that right yeah. in the trash. He he probably was like... He fed it to the dogs. He was like, yeah, either he fed it to the dogs or he like held it out in front of like... He called it for a big national address. Yeah. And then they, he had them. He was up on a on a thing, on like a banister, on, an, on a... What's yeah. we call it? And he had all the people down below, and then he just raised the food up. He's like, you want this? And everyone's yeah. like, yeah! And then he just put like put it in the trash. <laughs> yeah. Right there. Oh, uh, like burned it or something. And then he just goes to the mic and goes, I am your god. And then just... <laughs> uh, so yeah, we let, let the people of North Korea eat. Uh, uh, everything in moderation. Don't don't push injured people at the VMAs. It's not polite. And we frowned upon that at the Jacob Coop. Even show. if it is Conor McGregor. Yeah. And if you're Absolutely. Conor McGregor... Don't get mad when someone doesn't want to take a picture with you. Right. Well, if that if that is what happened. Yeah. Who knows? Um, shout out to Christopher and Natalie. Congratulations. Yep. Shout out to Max for helping us record. Absolutely. Obviously, shout out to the Puerto Rican uh, freak. And uh, thank <laughs> you Italian. guys. Thank you. Shout out to the people who uh, emailed us those questions. Yeah, man. Please don't be scared. Uh, we we're looking for emails all or emails. We're looking for questions all the time. Send us your story. Send us your yeah. questions. Advice. DM us on Instagram. Hit us up on Twitter. Email us. Follow write, us. Write us a letter. I don't give a fuck. Like, subscribe to us on YouTube. Uh, rate, subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify. Follow us. Uh, we're on Stitcher. We're on iHeartRadio. We're Amazon, on Grinder. Uh, all uh, that follow us on Tinder. Bumble. And, yeah, all that. All that extra stuff. All the extracurriculars. Absolutely. And uh, stay fresh. Yeah, without further ado, guys, that's been the episode. Peace out. Peace.